reason I'm here is uh, last night I was getting the bike kind of ready for the trip today, big trip today, and uh, it was leaking oil a lot. So uh, turns out it's the O-ring at the transmission plug thing. I think I because I pulled it. Yes. Called uh, here where they did the oil change in April. I only put 400 miles on the bike since then. Not even 300. And they said uh, they've had three bad O-rings uh, in the uh, oil tank. Uh, apparently there's a flat spot where it needs to be around. So they're going to redo it. Hopefully that'll take care of the situation and I won't have to worry anymore. I will keep a close eye on it, obviously. So I had a kind of a bare knuckle ride here to uh, get the repair done. Afraid, I oh, hope I don't, you know, have a problem, blow the engine, blah. But no problems. Okay, no problem. Twenty different, right? So pretty much packed, sort of. You know, finish packing and then load the bike up, uh, and then off I go on the big trip. I'm meeting Moose tonight, I guess. Hopefully, I'm trying to get out of here because the rain is coming. And uh, the report I saw yesterday said it's coming second. Saturday. So we'll see if I get out of here before the rain starts. I definitely don't want to ride 700 miles in the rain. So, yeah, actually 500. I was going to go 700, but now I'm going to go 500. And I'm not telling you where I'm going yet. Moose might have already spilled the beans, so if you're over on his channel, oh well, spoilers. But uh, keeping it a mystery for now. I know, mysterious, right? Remember me? I used to ride a motorcycle. I've been playing nothing but saxophone uh, this whole summer. Uh, I now own three baritone saxophones and a tenor. And uh, I take lessons every week. And I'm, you know, I'm doing all right. Actually, funny story for you. I was at the beach uh, with my sweet pea. And uh, I was playing early in the morning. I snuck out of the hotel room, went down to the beach, Carolina Beach. And I was sitting on a bench, and pulled out my tenor sax, and I assembled it, and I started playing. Well, my little dog, Peanut, was there, making sure that, you know, I'm doing my proper thing, doing the thing. And then I opened my eyes, and I see this guy standing there with his two little kids. And he's just kind of looking at me admiringly. And I'm like, oh, hey, sorry for the noise. He said, oh, no, you sound great. Oh, thanks a lot. And he says, um, you ever heard of the band Morphine? That's the same time somebody's mentioned Morphine to me. I said, yeah, that's the whole reason I got into saxophones in the first place. <laughs> so apparently Morphine is pretty famous. If you haven't heard of them, look them up. They were a 90s band. The lead singer died on stage in Rome, or just near Rome. Uh, baritone saxophone player Dana Colley. Is any, I don't think anybody's commenting. No, nobody's commenting, which is fine. I'm just looking to see. Anyway, I see five people or six people are watching. So, hello, you six people, seven people watching. Hi. I'm uh, waiting to get my bike fixed because it's got a bad O ring on the plug for the transmission thing. I'm an English teacher. I don't do this shit. I'm taking that. And they're going to replace the O-ring. They said it was a bad O-ring. They've had this happen a few times already, so now we wait. Hopefully, it's not a big problem. I get the bike fixed and off I go ahead of the rain. Oh, to finish my story about the saxophone. So the guy says, hey, and morphing, yeah, 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 thank you, thank you. Off he goes. I play a little bit more. It's about time I pack up and get back to the hotel room so I pack all my stuff or I start I turn around and pack all my stuff when I open up the case I realize there's a dollar bill a caddy corner on the side of the case like stuck underneath so I thought geez did I somehow have... and I realized either that guy or somebody else passing by put a dollar there <laughs> uh, like I was busking or something so I have made money I've made two dollars so far since I started playing saxophone. <laughs> the first one, I don't remember what I do with it, but the
the second, this, this most recent one, I'm going to save this dog and put it inside the case as a reminder of how uh, minimal you have to be good at this to make some money. <laughs> I wish I could get paid. To, oh, wait, I, I do get paid to make these videos. So, eight people watching now. Hello, eighth person watching this live video. I cannot see any chatting, so oh well. Team Power Sports and Garner. Boring. Mike, this is so boring. Yeah. Well, why am I doing that? I could just go like this. Mm -hmm. So there's my jacket. And there's my Daytona boots all scuffed. I'm not wearing these on the trip. I'm going to wear my Alpine Star Toucan boots. I'm not wearing these pants. I'll be wearing my climb jacket. On my climb pants, and uh, yeah, so hey, that's uh, kind of like wearing a cowboy, right? I know that's not the same kind, but and it's a spider, or a can am, something. So, uh, in case you see this, Dave. Hello, Dave. The Smyrna cowboy. I got one thumbs up. Thank you, whoever gave me a thumbs up. It's so valuable. Um, Maurice Neveu made this shirt for me. Isn't that nice? So thanks, Maurice, for that. Oh, goodness. So, I will give you updates throughout the day. Uh, I'm back to moto vlogging. The summer is over, the cool weather has returned, and I will be riding big ride hopefully the next few days so stay tuned for more adventures hey dave what's up Shh. anyway oh somebody dropped out two likes thank you second like anyway all right i'm gonna go I'm just gonna sit here and Used to sleep, text Moose and say, Hey Moose, still waiting. <laughs>